Rwanda's A330-300 Airbus arrived in Kigali Street from the French city of Toulouse this Thursday around midday. It is the second and the largest aircraft that Rwanda has bought from the Airbus factory, which has placed Rwanda among the top potential airlines continentally because no country in the region has such an airplane. As reiterated by the management of Rwanda, this aircraft boasts the latest trends of technology only owned by big airlines globally. The CEO of Rwanda, John Mirenje, revealed that this aircraft branded Umuraje, which translates as heritage, was bought 200 million US dollars and would be used to expand the airline network beyond Africa. This plane comes in addition to Airbus A330 200 that was unveiled in September this year. Chambere chana kuzwe no kuru yu mugawane wa Afrika nuko indeje za tuzo tusige tuza nubuzose the first thing that was even new to the African continent is that all planes we bring in have internet, which means that wherever you will be in air, you can continue to work or communicate with your people. Secondly, it has the business class, it has premium, Rwanda premium, and the economy class. As you have also witnessed, each class is different from the other, as a passenger can afford. The plane has a way to watch videos, listen to music, and all sorts of entertainment during your flight, all in more than three languages that include French, English, Chinese, Swahili, all for the passengers to enjoy our flights. Minister at Minifra, Musoni James said this aircraft increases pressure on the government to increase the capacity of airports because the Kigali International Airport in Kanombe continues to appear smaller as more planes come in, citing the need to work faster on the Ujeseda Airport, which will be open towards the end of 2018. <laughs> When you look at the airport and also compare to where the passengers pass, it is not correspondent to the speed at which Rwanda is getting its planes and other airlines that use the Rwandan airport. That's why a decision was made to build another airport and our contractors have started taking materials in Wijesera. We hope that we shall see construction activities beginning of January next year and the plan is to open the airports towards the end of 2018 so that by 2019 we start using the airport. These Airbus planes brag of the state-of-the-art technology that includes Wi-Fi connectivity during the flight at all times. Uwumge airplane which arrived in September has the capacity to carry 244 passengers as the new Muraji aircraft has the capacity to carry 274 passengers with a fuel reserve system which allows it to make longer flights.